Auburn, the sex leader in rushing yards per game in 2016 could be done after just five games in 2017. Auburn running back Cameron Petway suffered a fractured scapula, shoulder blade, late in an October 21 victory at Arkansas and will be out for an extended period of time, head coach Gus Malzahn announced Tuesday. The injury was discovered on Friday during the Tigers' bye week after soreness in Petway's shoulder did not subside. Malzahn said the junior will not need surgery and that Auburn is hoping to have him back for the end of the season. I don't know exactly when that will be, but obviously, that's a tough blow for him, a guy that's battled a lot of injuries up to this point, Malzahn said. I know that's frustrating for him. He's a great competitor. But hey, you've got to deal with it and he'll respond. He'll respond okay. Petway has carried just 76 times for 305 yards this season, while catching three passes for 62 yards. That performance comes a season after one in which he burst onto the scene to rush 209 times for 1,224 yards and seven touchdowns in nine games. The latest bad break for Petway comes after what was arguably his best game of the season. The six foot, 235 pounder carried 11 times for 90 yards against the Razorbacks and scored three touchdowns, all of which came in the third quarter of a 52 20 route. Man, it's very frustrating for him, senior safety Trey Matthews said. That's one of my best friends on the team. I feel for him, because early in my career, I had some injuries. But, I mean, this being late in his season and his time here, it's been very frustrating. We're still bringing him up. We're still praying for him. He'll be just fine. It's just a test. The breakout performance in Fayetteville, coupled with the bye, was supposed to mark Petway's return to full health and the realization of a potential standout rushing duo headlined by Petway and Kerryon Johnson. Last week, offensive coordinator Chip Lindsay said it was important that Auburn had both back and that he had a good idea how he would use them together during a November stretch that features games against Texas A&M. Number two Georgia and number one Alabama. It's unfortunate for Cam, Malzahn said. He really, even last week, he wasn't completely healthy. But you saw he came back, and at least, had some glimpses of what it was the year before. Auburn will lean even more on Johnson now. Reserve running backs Cam Martin, Devon Barrett and Malik Miller also could get more involved, though the coaching staff has seemed reluctant to use those three this season. It's really sad, said offensive lineman Austin Golson, who was teammates with Petway at Prattville High. I talked to him, and he's a positive guy, so I know that he'll bounce back and get better. I just hate it for him, but I know he'll be all right, because of his willingness to get better. I think he'll be fine. The bad news is that Auburn lost Petway to another injury. The good news is that the Tigers expect they will have everybody else back and healthy for Saturday's trip to Texas A&M. On offense, Mouths and said injured left guard Mike Horton, center Casey Dunn and left tackle Darius James practiced Sunday and are expected to be ready to go against the Aggies in College Station. Horton hasn't played since re-aggravating an ankle injury against Ole Miss on October 7. Dunn has been sidelined since suffering a leg injury October 14 at LSU, and James was carted off the field late in the October 21 win at Arkansas. On defense, Matthews said he's ready after missing the second half at LSU and all of the game at Arkansas with a right hamstring injury. Linebacker Tree Williams said Sunday that he should be ready after missing three of the last five games with a shoulder injury. Starting corner Javaris Davis is also expected to return, after missing three of the Tigers' previous five games.